Hi everyone, I'm the two rep here. Now we give away three battle pass. Just watch the game and enjoy it. Fortifications have been forced down here by Alliance. And I'm gonna move his way back in. Just keeping him healed up this whole time. Now the Hex comes out with the Global Science as well. So Mickey, if they take this man down, it'll be massive for them. So Seth still waiting for the RP and now he finds it. He found two, but the Ravage was there. So the follow-up, it is gonna come out of Anna who had the BKB available. Mickey just trying to get out of there. He gets the, the Scepter off onto the Oracle, but it won't even matter. They lose two already. It looks like they're gonna find even more Anna. He goes straight after the morphing and does get the kill. The GG's been called anyway, but they found Tiger. It's gonna be a full team wipe. Boxy, the only man left standing. No buybacks available on the side of Alliance. And that's gonna make OG go in there on Thompson. So you do have the Global Sans. Koifa, he will zip in just to take care of the creep wave. But Anna has already rotated down to the bot lane where he will find the range rats. Can he find the final melee barracks though? Will be a global silence. Who have they caught there? The shackles is there onto, onto the tide and now the RP. Seb finds both of them once again. Anna will get started. Global silence to follow up as well. The zip in from Koifa, but it's not really doing that much though. He has jumped onto the Oracle, so no tail is gone. Shackles is there from Jarrett, still trying to take Mickey down. Foxy now moving forward as well. Koifa on a double, but he does get bashed by Anna. He does lose his life, and that's a dieback on him. Mega Creeps as well were secured there by OG, and it looks like they'll go straight after the T4 Towers. Anna does not feel like they can actually take him out. He still has the Aegis anyway. This could be the final ditch defense here for side of the line, so they are going to dive straight off the tops and almost bursting him down. In fact, they commit the echo for that. Now can they take Anna out? They force him back behind the T4 tower, but he wants to go for a man fight. Seb will skewer the morphling back as well. Mickey getting stunned up. Anna, can he permabash here? He gets the ensnare off. Well, the waveform back onto Seb. Just trying to take the back lines away here from the side of OG. Anna still trying to find a real target to go after. And Seb is copying way too much damage. Though, nice bounce back on the Ethereal Blade with the Lotus Orb. Anna, someone's still just standing here, just hitting creeps. The Ravage comes out from Boxy. OG Thompson is gone again. That was a dieback on him. Now the finger, Anna, just gonna BKB up and try to man fight though. No, Mickey is perfectly fine. Anna probably gonna lose his Aegis here, and he does. One more time could make all the difference. Anna, Earth Spike will be there from Insania. It's a lot of damage coming out from Mickey. Now Tiger trying to get the permabashes out, but the Battle Trance was there. Ethereal will protect Tiger from the Troll Warlord. And if they could have taken this Troll Warlord down, who knows what they could have found out of it. It looks like they will find no tail and no tail has to commit the False Promise on himself. But that is a guaranteed death coming out on the Oracle once again. So perhaps feeling confident with this, though certain ones being dropped in now. Boxy doesn't look like he'll be able to get out in time, though. He will throw out the Ravage. Is it going to be enough? Fisher is there from Tiger as well, but they've got the Tide. Now the Hex is there on the Morphling Mickey. Can he get himself out of here? They don't have an RP. Koifa jumps in, though. No, Tiger! He threw out the Echo, but he didn't get the Blink off. Now Jerax found him. They took down Mickey as well. Tiger is just a sitting duck, though. Nice four-man Fisher coming out. It looks like Seth's going to make the chase anyway he does connect the fisher and with that he is gone the roshan as well going to anna and john i don't know if you spotted that but Ty hopefully they can they're just delaying it as long as they can but anna he does find one rat insania again earth spike will be there now the zip in though Koifa gets the vortex off now boxy moving in but it has no way to control this strong warlord and still, Mickey will hold on to the buyback. Only has about 15 seconds, but now Seb gets an RP. The three-man skewer as well, and they'll burst out Koifa. They'll get rid of Insania. Boxy is a sitting duck right now. He needs to get the hell out of there. But they found the shackles on the Earthshaker Tiger. Global Science as well, though. Koifa with the buyback will be able to get Jerax. Tiger, can he set up for more? Fisher will connect onto Thompson, though. Fortune's in, excuse me, false promise was there from no -tail. It looks like no -tail will go down. The Fisher just may have been a bit too quick from Tiger. 
the line. So gonna continue to move in. In fact, they, it looks like they know where Anna is. They do run into him. Anna though gets hexed up immediately. Now the global silence comes out. Seb gets the skewer back on the line. Coin for the moves in straight on the Oracle. No tell. Can't survive this damage, or can he? The gush comes out as well, and it looks like Boxy will take care of it. But now Boxy's in trouble. He commits the ravage. It really only connects on one hero, and Anna is still doing a hell of a lot of damage back. Though Echo comes in again. Tiger just stops them in their tracks. Coin for now dealing the damage onto No Tail. That's a dieback on the Oracle. They will finally get the Earth. Shaker, but they might lose Jerax in the process because Mickey is making the chase though. No, Shackles comes out. Jerax, he might turn this one around for his team. Boxy moves in but gets melted immediately. The strength morph is there as well as the ethereal blade from Mickey. But can he survive this? I don't believe he can. Anna's got him set. He will matter, but it won't matter. A triple kill going to Anna. Gets the banner in for his team though. It will cost him his life. His glimmer cape, but there was a sentry ward just on the west of him and not going to be the biggest deal in the world, but of course, Alliance is still going to be very happy with that as they move their way into that mid lane with a T1 tower does still stand. Thompson gets hexed up again by Mickey. That morph into the Shaman is just so valuable to him. And that's a big deal. Started on that melee barracks. Mana Drain going to be annoying, but again, Bates eating, just making sure they can't even throw Anna here. And one of the Aethos will come out to Boxy. Anna, he'll just continue focusing on that rack. Fisher as well from Tiger, and now the Ravage comes out. Connects on three as well. The Echo coming out from Tiger will turn it all around. Anna's lost his first life. Can they find him on the secondary? Jerax, he's going for the TP and will make it in Seb. He gets an RP out, but it's only going to be on Mickey. Anna, he's going to go for the BKB and Battle Trance. Just trying to man fight this up against everyone. So can he get the job done? The ensnares are good, but the, the attribute shift is even better here from Mickey. And it looks like they're just going to be able to surround him and take him out. Seb cannot help out in even the slightest way, and it looks like he may even lose his own life. In fact, he does. Oh, gee, not planning to back off either. They'll get started on Boxy first. Trying to bait the side of Alliance into this team fight. Alliance basically trying to do the exact same thing. Boxy will get the bounty, but may lose his life if he's not careful. Still has the Ravage and will commit it onto four heroes. The Global Science just a second too late, but it won't even matter. They already found Boxy on that time. Now they found the Morphin, but nice vision from Tiger to ensure they can't continue the damage. And now he jumps in for the Echo. No Tail's gone. Meanwhile, Koifa just jumping around the map, trying to find some pick-off. Seb, though, a double RP coming out. He's going to find one. It looks like he'll find another as well. And a 3 for 3 trade through the racks, he still holds the Aegis. There's just nothing to be afraid of for him. His whole team still behind him. Boxy cannot find a good Ravage attempt right now. In fact, he might have to pop it soon. Anna though, just gonna man fight Mickey. Gonna maybe allow that Aegis to wear off, though he has nowhere to back off to. He does let the Aegis pop. Can they do it one more time? The Global Science comes out. They found Koifa on the Storm, but they don't dive in. They'll leave him be. Foxy moving in now. Koi fight. He'll go straight onto Anna. Though Anna will turn around and start man fighting. Foxy will throw out the Ravage. Does connect onto four heroes, but it's not going to be quite enough. Seb, though, can't grab the RP and will end up losing his life. Again, Anna still chasing. Oh, watch for the Echo Slam. It will come out of Tiger and really turns this one around. Jerax goes down as well. The only one left is Anna, but he's gone. A full team went back. Hold on a minute. That Battle Trance was doing a lot of work, and he did end up getting Koi for in the end. See, pretty deep and may end up losing his life if he's not careful. Anna, he's starting to hit pretty darn fast, but the problem is he's tickling him right now. Meanwhile, Seb is back in the engagement, but an immediate hex comes out of Insania. They do get the shackle off on the line, and it looks like they will punish Alliance for trying to go after that T1. Though no real targets being caught out, just a support line for the moment. Wait for Again. They're being chased down right now. In fact, Jerax, he's going to cut him off in a moment. He gets the Hex. There's the Surf Awards and the Shackle being committed. They may have to RP, but it looks like they'll be fine. Topson had the Rod of Atos available. As it stands right now, that slight lead that they have is probably just thanks to the Empower on Anna that keeps him farming up. And now Boxy moves in. He knows no tells there by himself, though. Doesn't want to completely initiate quite yet. Though he does have the Ravage available. Now the Global Silence, though. They want to turn this around on the side of OG, and they go straight after Koifa. He will be able to zip himself out in time. And now Boxy still holding on. Big RP there from Seb. On to two, and they can't get the Ravage off in time. They'll find both of them on the side lane, though. The Serpent Wards and Thompson are pushing in, but here comes the Zip. Koi 
Viper again wants this silencer real, real bad. With Mickey and Boxy there, it should mean a kill. They have the Ravage anyway. The salve is cancelled off as well. Thompson still trying to make a run for it. It's wasting a fair bit of time, but at the very least, they do hold on to the Ravage and Mickey will find a very... Fisher is there from Tiger, but unfortunately doesn't really block them in though. Mickey now comes in, morphs into the Shaman, but doesn't throw the Hex out immediately. Or even the Shackles, in fact, he does get them off now. And they find a very easy pick here onto the Shaman. Earth Spike and the Zip-In from Quaper. They'll get one on Jerax, and now they'll go after Sarsen Thompson. He's a much bigger target, and Sania just fingers him down. Seb, though, has the RP. It looks like they have found Anna, who was pursuing a kill onto the Tide, though Boxy is pretty tan tanky, as said before. Global Science will come out, and Boxy actually falls low, but the Fisher comes out. Now the Ravage as well. The Battle Trance will eventually wear off. Insania just making sure he's controlled up, and they find a secondary kill there on the Troll Warlord. Thompson does rotate around, though, and does find Insania before he's able to TP up. Trying to find even more now. It looks like Koifa should be okay. Tiger will remain on that Earthshaker just in case Koifa needs the help. In fact, they're thinking about jumping back in, but now No Tail shows himself with the Fates Edict and those Purifying Flames. And Jerax actually rotates it around. We'll find Tiger. Purifying Flames will get that job done. And he's already leveled 6. He's had a free run down here at bot, and that is a worrying sign for OG. It looks like they're happy to leave him alone because top lane, they are going to chase Boxy on that Tidehunter. Jerax will get the shackles off in time and Anna moves in as well. Boxy though, so tanky, but the purifying flames and the last hit from Jerax will get the job done. Nice pickup. Definitely wasn't easier than you'd want, but still. Back to the point you were making though, Mickey is really farming up very well. 3.2k net worth, he's about almost 300 gold ahead of Anna on that Troll Warlord. Mid lane, Thompson as well, will end up losing his life here. In every lane, still remaining relatively passive. Insania is going to be chased down here by Seb. Meanwhile, mid lane, Tiger will get shackled up and no tail. Does go in with the Fortune Zen though, it does end up being a kill. Fisher will come out from Tiger in time, but it won't even matter. Thompson does find it, and he is on... Just sticking around, though No Tail will do exactly the same on the Oracle. There is a bit of a loop around here from Insania on that line, and the Fisher does connect, and now the Vortex from Koifa with the Earth Spike as well. I don't think No Tail really keeps Thompson alive here, and he does not. Tries in trouble, No Tail, gonna block off the Haste Rune, and now the Shackles into the, the uh, Fortune's End will all connect. They root him in place. Koifa still can't zip away, of course, it's not level 6, but look at that Fisher coming out from Tiger. Now Insania as well with the Earth Spike, just stopping everything. But Quaper thinking about turning around here. He does salve up Jerax. He's going to be the target though. No, Shackles will come out straight onto the line and Insania loses his life. Now, but the thing is, he doesn't actually pop the Mango. It doesn't have the Fisher yet. It was on cooldown. Now, No Tail comes in. Fortune Zen will connect with the Purifying Flames. Quaper moves in. will find the Silencer kill, but they do get the Earthshaker in return. Quaper looks like he'll be able to get out of there. Same Maintaining parity, which is good enough, especially on a Silencer. Top lane, Boxy, he's copying a lot of harassment here. In fact, no tell, getting the Purifying Flames and the Fortunes in, and Anna gets the job done. Looking for another target. They are going to run into one just as good in Mickey. He does not have the waveform, of course. He does go for the Attribute Shift, and that should mean a death on him. There's just way too much damage coming in, and Topson...